You know what we gonna do? What the fuck are you talking about, Dunn? What are you Grand talking about? Is available <laughs> to to Grand Central. Shut your candy ass up! You can't stop me! Come on. Get the f*** out of here, niggas. You niggas think it is a game, huh? They got some f***ing joke? Ain't no fighting scenes. Like Man of Steel, bro. I ain't see it And clear of the closing doors, please. What's going on, you bitch made ass niggas? You bitch made ass bitches. You real ass niggas. And you real ass bitches. We are back. It's cracking the 80s. It's it is a lot going on in these streets, my friends. Boy, oh boy. And we back. We back. We back. We back, man. What's up? What's this? Episode 109? 109. Word 109. 109. Sorry we missed y'all last week. You know what I mean? We had some things to take care of, but sheesh. But yeah, we came back and we got, oh my God, we... Streets let's is in just, a frenzy. Let's just get the introductions. Let's just get it out the way. Let's, let's talk just... to the people, man. Let's talk to the people. We all here. The guys is here. Drugs, Mars, 5-2, we all here. The crack in the 80s, your neighborhood's favorite pod, all that good stuff. Welcome all back that good to the shit. show, you know what I mean? Thank you for Welcome subscribing, back. listening. You know what I mean? Crackin'80spodcast.com. Right. Y'all tune in. Uh, y'all niggas just want to get in the sports curve first, and, and then we get into the the meat and the potatoes? Yeah, this, we, this... I mean, we could kind of, we could kind of uh, pause, bounce around, get some things out the way, do some housekeeping, yeah. talk about some of these other topics before we get into the, the nuclear warfare that's going on out here in these streets. In these strats, you know let's go. But shit, how was how was your week though, man? Before we get into any topics and shit, you know what I mean? How niggas doing? Man? Uh, niggas... My week was good. My week was good. My weekend was better. My daughter went to Six Flags and she had a dance competition at Six Flags. I didn't even know Six Flags do that type of shit. Yeah, but word, you do. putting me on. Yeah, um, it was a whole bunch of different schools there too. That shit was like, shit was crazy. Shit was like, you niggas ever seen dodgeball? How it was different teams and ethnicities and shit like that. Word. It was like that. It was, it was like dodge. We had you had the hood niggas. You had the hood kids, you had the 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 the, 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 the uh, Middle Eastern kids, mm. you know what I'm saying? Like stomp the yard. Yeah, it was. It like stomp the yard. You know what I'm saying? Uh, that's crazy. That's crazy. Wait, so it's Six it. Flags is the one that puts it together? Yeah, they have competitions oh, at, at like have, they have like a theater at Six Flags. Wow. See, I ain't been to Six Flags in years, and I don't know what's going on. Yeah, it's not. There. It's not the same. It's not the. You know how back in the day, Six Flags was just like. There was billboards for the rods. There was like, you know what I mean? It was like you was in Six Flags and Six Flags was everywhere. Like it, when you're inside, you know, you got the feeling you was at Six Flags. That's just like a regular carnival now. Oh, damn. You you knew you was in Six Flags when you entered the parking lot, nigga. Like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Line like, long you, as fuck to walk in. You see the, yeah, you see the rods leave going in this parking lot, but it's not, you know, there's no billboards. There's no, there's no, like when, when Batman and Robin was, was out. And I was telling I was I was telling Peyton and her friends about it. They was like, "That sounds amazing. I would love to get on that." Yeah. I'm like, "Yeah, but it ain't it ain't here no more." The Batman and Robin that went it had to ride and it went backwards. Mm-hmm. Like when it, after, yeah, that's gone. Fucking uh, the Scream Machine is gone. Damn. Uh, yeah, I mean they put the Green Lantern in there, which is a good ride. Um, but like yeah, just the just the feel of Six Flags. It's it's like a generic. Uh, play style it's not there's no litness to it anymore it's that the feeling of being inside six flags is gone there's no hype no more hype there's no hype it. there it's no hype yeah it's no hype. And, and they got a lot of they got a lot of uh i think it's because they have a lot of dc built built rods like they have they have superman they have they have two batman rods they have um wonder woman and wonder woman's not a roller coaster it's more of like a crazy ass swing mm. um they have a joker ride the joke is trash that shit was trash um, but it's not like, like those DC rods back in the day used to be like, when you was by it, it was like, oh, like when you was by Batman and Robin, it the hype was there. There's the big ass Batman and Robin logo. The whole, the, 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 the atmosphere around the roller coaster just felt Gotham. Yeah, they had you the know music what I mean? playing and shit. They had the music playing. You know what I'm saying? Like Man. the Green Lantern ride. It's just a poster that says Green Lantern. The Superman, the Superman ride stays the same. The Superman ride is, is good. That's a great ride. That Superman is a great ride. Um, the Joker is just a poster of the Joker, and it's it's bullshit. 
The Wonder Woman ride is the logo of Wonder Woman. The Batman ride looks cool. The Dark Knight ride was pretty dope. Um, but it's it's an indoor ride. It's not an outside ride. Yeah. Um, Skull Mountain is still Skull Mountain. And I don't even remember, I guess because I was young, but I don't remember Skull Mountain being that fucking short. That ride was short as shit. Um, Green Lantern looked pretty cool. You thought you standing up or some shit, it looked like? Yeah, you standing up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Where's that? Yeah, it's right there. Yeah, it's, I don't it's, really it's, like uh, them standing up for roller coasters. Them shit's kind of... Nah, that shit is... Nigga, Payne got on that shit. Like, she got on it before or before me. For those who don't know, Payne's my daughter. She got on it before me with her friends. Mm. And I was, like, nervous for her. She was, you know, she... The reason why she got on the roller coaster because roller coasters because she's with her friends and she don't want to seem like a punk. She told me that to the six. Like, I don't want to like a <laughs> she, punk. She confessed to it on the side, yo. I ain't no yeah, I ain't no I'm, pussy. I'm getting right? on everything. I ain't, I ain't, I'm getting on everything. Right? Not about to... <laughs> I'm like, all right, nigga, we live. Yeah. We here. <laughs> now that's real life lessons though. Before you go further, like, yo, I don't really want to do this, but I ain't no pussy though, nah. Yeah, right. <laughs> like, I can't, especially so not in front of the rock, homies. Mind you, now, mind you, she's not tall enough. No, they need to fire the lady that's doing the height measurements at Six Flags <laughs> for the degree. I, ha- I always hated that lady because I was always undersized until nah, I hit a facts, certain age. Too, right? Nah, nah, let me tell you something. <laughs> like, this, this chick was not doing her job. My daughter was not supposed to get on that ride. Oh, Neither man. was like two of her friends. There's a girl that was there that was shorter than... The little girl was up to my fucking waist, bro. And she got on the ride. Don't they got the little height measurement shit at the front before you they, can't even the, pass this, that shit if you're not high enough? They didn't, certain rides gave a fuck, but whoever worked at that Asian lady that did Green Lantern, she did not nah, give a fuck. Some, sometimes and we, you could walk but, right past that motherfucker. I ain't even gonna hold. Yeah, and, 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 and it's only like that though. If it's if it's a packed ride, you get away with it. But if it's like not packed and they see you, then yeah. But so we we're, we're at the stairs, right? About to go up to the roller coaster. We're standing there, so. One of Peyton's teachers goes, is that the height measurement thing? I said, let me ask her. Is that the height requirement? She goes, yes. I said, I looked at her for like 10 minutes. <laughs> so you don't so you don't see anything wrong here? You don't see these fucking little ass kids, bitch? Yeah, it's a whole bunch of little kids with us, bro. It, you they see anything wrong with this picture? They <laughs> little as... Yo, I, f- I forgot the friend's name, bro. We ain't, we ain't it's gotta two say of them. Name. Yeah, it's, it's two of them. It's, 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 it, was, it was two of them. One of the short girls in our group, because I had Peyton get, assemble her... Her Avengers. I said, assemble your, your clique. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, we, we out. I'll be the chaperone for y'all. So it was five of them. But it was one of her friends that was there with us, and she's hilarious. She's one of the funniest little girls I've ever met in my life. She is hilarious. She got on a ride, and another little girl got on a ride. And the little girl was smaller than her. She was right underneath that height requirement shit. Ooh. She ain't even measure her, bro. Crazy. She just walked past her. She was so small, you missed her. <laughs> <laughs> what that nigga Drizzy said, yo, I tried to tell Kendrick, but it went over his head while I was looking yeah. at him. <laughs> yeah. That's uh, low key, we laughing, but that shit is a big lawsuit. Something if something would have happened, nigga, like that's why them shits is there. Yeah, and Peyton again, Peyton was not ready for that ride. Peyton was not. And then when she got on, I watched her get on it. And I'm like, yeah, we cheering her on. Everybody seen that she was my daughter. So everybody was like, they wanted me to get on the ride. Like, that's her dad. That's her dad. Yeah. And the guy was like, the gates are cold. <laughs> yo, let's, them niggas be assholes, bro. Like, yeah, assholes. I, like, the gates, he like, the gates is closed. I was like, oh, whatever, bro. Up, I nigga. Pay, the fuck? You I got said, the button pay, right there. I, I, hit, I hit Peyton with the Chuck Norris thumbs up. I said, Peyton, Chuck Norris approves. Go ahead. She looked back. She gave me a thumbs up. When she gave me a thumbs up, then she said, and she sped off. And you heard her friend go, what the fuck? <laughs> yo. Peyton is screaming. This shit is crazy. So they come back. The ride's in like a minute and like 30 seconds. That's a long time. I was time. Say, that's a pretty goddamn long time. That's a long time. It's in roller coaster time. She comes back. Her hair's everywhere. <laughs> she's like, she's going crazy, but she's crying. I'm talking like snot from her nose. Crying hysterically, but still like excited. It's, it's the, the weirdest cry I've ever seen in my life. Yeah. She gets off the ride. I get on the ride after her. And when I get finished with the ride, I'm like, holy shit, my daughter just did this? <laughs> the ride is crazy, bro. I ain't, the ride Man, is crazy. Yeah, I'm about to say, this shit look pretty crazy. I, I ain't got no video of it, but just seeing the still pictures looks kind of wild. It's it's very wild, bro. It's it's it's, it's the force of it. It's the, the, the speed. Yeah. You know what I mean? You're going 62 miles per hour. God damn. Right. Wow. Do they still have the nitro? 
No, Nitro's gone. Nitro's gone too. Damn. Yeah, that shit was elite. Yeah, that that was one of the quickest ones too. You just had that Ni- I, drop. I always felt like Nitro was like in the middle of the sky. I never felt like that rod was like lit on the ground. Like <laughs> <Not> <laughs> <for real. laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? That's, that shit now. We crazy, in the clouds man. with this shit. <laughs> we in the that cloud. Was... Like the king of Ka- the king of Ka- Like when I went, I went, I went sixth grade, seventh grade, eighth grade to sixth class. It was like an annual school trip my school would do. And when the first time we went, the king of Ka was first built, and they was having problems with it. Mm-hmm. Right? Got there, but they fixed it. So we watched a few people get on it. Then we got on there. And once I got on there, I'm like, oh, Nitro ain't shit. If I, I, I never did Nitro before. Going, I did King of Ka before Nitro. Think about that. Mm. Yeah. Right, the only thing scary about the King of Kai oh, is going yeah. up. Yeah, I'm about to say is that sh- sh- that should go straight the fuck up. Yeah, that's it. That's the only thing that's scary about the King of Kai. Once it hit that dip low, it's over. The ride is over. Um, but Nitro, nigga, you hit that first turn, you you're done. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That hit that first like, turn. In the middle of the sky? That shit, shoo, 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 shoo. You're like what the fuck? Then, then you got to think them just got them high ass. Goes up and then it drops. Yeah. Then it goes up again. Then it drops. Then it, like that shit was crazy. That rod. That that, that rod. Was the first me roller coaster up. I went on when I went to Six Flags. Literally. What the, the fuck? first one? I went what? straight to Nitro. I was like, I was like, yo, I remember this shit. Like, they still got this shit. I'm what like, is? Yo, I'm get on this. Out of out of all like the main rods, like you got like damn, I can't even. What's better, Steel Vengeance or Nitro? Steel Vengeance. What's that? I don't even remember that. Steel. Dony Park. Mm. I don't think I ever been on Steel Vengeance. Uh, Steel Vengeance is crazy. I don't think I've been on that. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I, I only been to Dony Park a few times. Honestly, I ain't never been that much. Steel Vengeance is like the marquee Dony Park ride. It's oh, like their okay. Nitro. Got it. Got it. Got yeah, it. it's their Nitro. Um, but she had fun. She went on that. She went on. Um, we went on Skull Mountain. We did the Dark Knight ride. We did El Toro. She even did the crazy swing shit. Peyton was having a blast. She was just killing herself the whole day. <laughs> and for the sake of um, the homies. For the sake of the homies, yeah. But that that was it. That was the weekend. Oh, that's what's up. That's what's up. Shit, this was... um, Yeah, I about to say, we, we ain't pod last week, so it felt like we ain't pod in forever. <clears throat> I ain't even talk about it. We went on a nice little family trip. That shit was cool. My shorty came along. We went to Lake Charles. I didn't know about Lake Charles until I moved... Um, to Houston, obviously. That shit is in Louisiana. It's like they got casinos and shit out there. But it's actually, you know, it's a town too. Is that where Ozark was shot? Nah, Ozark ain't that like like uh I forget where Ozark is. It's somewhere up north, I think. Oh, okay. Wait, so that lake, Ozark. that's not one of them creepy lakes that like um it like kills the whole that's town. Where and there's a town. Nah, swing. see, that's the thing. I didn't even see a lake when we was there. That's why oh, hell no. <laughs> niggas was niggas was joking like, yo, this nigga don't drown, nigga. I'm like, shit, it ain't even, I haven't seen a lake since we've been in this motherfucker. But that's, shit was real cool. That's you know what I mean? Nice little Airbnb. That's that's not creepy. Was whipping. What's that? It ain't no lake? Yeah, you going somewhere where it's called Lake something and you get there, there's no water? <laughs> Maybe it is. I ain't see the shit. Now, I mean, when we pulled up, we had to cross like a bridge and shit. But I mean, I'm guessing that's what it was. But it wasn't no creepy shit. Honestly, the crib we lived in was kind of creepy in terms of like, I got a fucking alligator right here. <laughs> like, they ain't have no curtains and shit. The, the street we, that we was on, it was like a nice little, you know what I mean, residential street. But a nigga walking by outside. Could just see right through your crib, mm-hmm. and it was it was a pretty big big crib too. You know what I'm saying? Like, but shit was cool. You know what I mean? Uh, it was there a couple of days. Shit was shit was pretty fun. Niggas ain't go to the casino. I wanted to go to uh, to the casino, but probably gonna take another trip and do that shit. Shit was cool though, man. Niggas was whipping. I rented a fucking little Chrysler minivan, mm-hmm. so we could all just fit in one whip instead of having to drive like two whips and shit. Shit was fun. Shit was pretty cool. Like family trips, them shits <clears throat> wanna do them shits more. Them shits is cool. Yeah. Let's see what else. What else we get what else we got into over the week? A couple things happened. Coachella passed. Y'all seen any footage from that shit? Uh I seen a tad bit. 
Um, you know, I seen Tyler, you know, Tyler and Earl. Uh, mm-hmm. I, I didn't really see too much outside of that. Um, Kid Cuddy break his fucking Oh, Cuddy, right, right. That's what it was. <laughs> oh, damn. That's crazy. Cuddy. That nigga. <laughs> that nigga. It's, 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 it's not funny at all. Watching the video, I mean, the video itself is pretty damn funny because it was just cool because you knew he was having a damn good time. <laughs> And he was like, fuck it. Let's kick it up a notch. Let me jump down, get down there with the people. And that nigga went to take that step, bro. Once he stumbled that first time, he probably lost control and was just like, fuck it, I gotta go. But it looked like he might have just landed wrong, too. Yeah, for sure. For sure. I mean, definitely landed wrong, but it was the the attempt that was what fucked him up. He was already off balance. As he was trying to jump. Right. Nigga just landed and just was like, damn. <laughs> it was it was funny because you could see in his head he knew he fucked up. <laughs> and it was just like, fuck. Like, nigga had to cancel his whole tour after that shit. I was like, damn, bro. That's fucked All up. All he had to do was just pause and, you know, hold the mic and climb over. Like a... Yeah, he got, he got two. He was two in the moment. You know them times where you like, fuck it, I'm here, I gotta go. It's one of them quick decisions you make. Yeah. Nigga was just he was just two in the moment. Two damn in the moment. Hey, heal up, my uh, boy. Heal up, cut. Nah, heal up, gang. Yeah, Cuddy, get well soon, bro. That that shit look ugly. Having to cancel the tour, that's crazy too, because you know that's missing out on a lot of bread. It's fucked up. It's fucked up. And it's fucked up for all the people that wanted to go. I wanted to go. I just know he wasn't coming to Houston this year, which was weird as fuck. But hey, now he ain't going nowhere, nigga. Get well, nigga. Get well. Finish on. I mean, before we even, since we're going to go to TV real quick, this has been, been on this topic list for probably a week. Well, I mean, some weeks now, but we got to get this nigga Gambino, this nigga Donald Glover some flowers, man. That nigga is a beast. And I, I don't feel, I feel like it don't get talked about that much. Good, bro. It's off rip, honestly. <laughs> yeah, it, it took rip. me a while. I was, I was, a, I was an early hater on that nigga for no reason. You know, just kind of how it is now with Drizzy. Before we get to that, like, I was just hating on the nigga for no. Re- I had no reason. It was just I don't like that nigga. Right. I didn't even know why. <laughs> mm-hmm. I might have heard like one record. You know what I thought it was? And it's probably similar to how niggas feel about Drake. When I've seen, because I, I had knew about him before I knew he rapped, before I knew him as Childish Gambino. I might have just seen like a picture of him from like maybe Community or some shit. And I was man, that nerdy ass, goofy nigga. And then I heard he rapped and I might have heard one song. I might have heard like something like Camp, something from the Camp album or something like that. Mm-hmm. And I was like, nah, he can rap, but I don't really like it, is all I'm saying. <laughs> he can rap, but nah, nah uh, fuck out of here. Nigga completely ignored the talent, nigga said. Nigga, fuck this nigga. This nah, nigga's facts. nasty, but fuck this nigga. <laughs> but that's just how it was early on. Like, even with, like, Tyler the Creator, I never felt that way, but I knew niggas that felt that way because the nigga ate a roach. You know what right. I mean? Was it something that just turned you off from, the, from, from fucking with him? But. The nigga's a beast, man. The amount of shit he give, he's given us within the last 10 years is insane. Yeah, definitely. Fucking. But I brought that up because he was, you know, he's putting out new music again. He'd been pre- pre- previewing shit on the gram. And niggas was asking him about his return to music. You know what I mean? They was, you know what I mean, hyping him up. I forget who, who the interview was. But he was like, nah, I ain't, I ain't never left. I was just completing side quests. Right. You know, and you look at the body of shit he did, nigga. Gave us the whole Atlanta series, phenomenal. Then turned around, nigga played Landon in Star Wars. I ain't never seen that, but you know that's that's still Star Wars. Ass, <laughs> this shit, shit trash. Ass. <laughs> yeah, I ain't even the see mo- that. The movie or his or his role? Both. Oh shit! Damn. Oh, damn. Shit. Well, that's that's that's, a, that's that was that was his, that's his worst performance. Can't hit them all. Turned around, gave us Mr. and Mrs. Smith, Peak. Mm-hmm. I didn't really like Swarm, but he did that shit too. Right, yeah. 
I mean, nigga had a cameo in Across the Spider-Verse. The 21 Savage, American Dream Spoon. Nigga did mad shit, bro. Nigga, he's in the MCU. He is, uh, he plays the same nigga he is in the Spider-Verse. The Prowler? Yeah, he plays him, but younger. Oh, shit. Yeah. Nigga's just a beast, man. Like, yeah. It's really, it's really not much you can try to say to discredit that nigga. He's fucking making phenomenal music. I, and I can't wait for his new album. Me the too. The nigga's directing, producing phenomenal content. It's fucking crazy, man. I'm I'm not gonna lie, like I, I fuck with his content, like O D, like uh, I mean we talk about that a lot, obviously, but musically I the one of the main reasons I fuck with him is because like he he's not he uh he's he's like Drake. He's like a Drake or like a Kyle or mm-hmm. like a, you know, one of them niggas that don't fall in one category. Like they just. Yeah. I was going to say, he's definitely not one dimensional. Like, right. So, like, even with his new album coming out, like, I can't even say he's going to give me a rap album. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, I'm excited that I don't know what it is, but it's going to be good still. Like, you know what I'm saying? Mm hmm. The the shit he been premiering, I'm sure it ain't no typical rap shit. You heard the shit that he got with like with Kanye, and he got I think it's another one with Cuddy. Yeah, I heard the Kanye, the Kanye shit is fire. Oh, yeah, the Kanye shit sound insane. Uh, I, I I wouldn't doubt that, and I think it's fire that he's now getting the Kanyes. Like you know what I'm saying? Like he's music Cuddy, yeah, Cuddy nah, like. Cause he's always been good, like, but we like seeing him kind of climb his way. Mm-hmm. Uh, like, even starting from just rap, and he was really rapid, like, really well. You know what I think it was too early on while I was hating on this nigga, cause how I, I figured out <clears throat> when he told, like, he kind of explained how he got he how he picked his rap name. Nigga said he used oh, like yeah, it was a, a generator. Yeah, like a Wu Tang rap generator name. Yeah. I was like, this nigga, this nigga not even cultured, bro. He couldn't come up with his own name. <laughs> just hating on the nigga. For no reason, yeah. bro. Just hating. Yeah. And I really sat. You know what? It, honestly, what it took me was that um, because the internet album. Hmm. That, like, that before I really gave him like that is a, a chance. Classic album. Yeah, and then I went back and listened to Bonfire and shit. Oh I was, man, I was like, "Oh nah, this nigga, this nigga been rapping for some years now. <laughs> He's really good, this guy." Oh no, no, it's Donald. no. The, the yeah, the rap thing, like you could literally go back and see, like that's what I'm saying. Even his rookie rapping, like his rapping projects off rip, like when you go back from jump, you can see that he was clearly nice. Still yeah, high level, like, high level, but it. He leveled up differently. Like he took, nigga. He started getting the instru- instrumentation. Like mm-hmm. he even started giving us jazz and shit. Like this nigga is nasty, bro. Like this nigga yeah. might start playing a fucking cello and shit. Like, no, facts. Shout out to shout out to Donald, man. Tuned in. Tuned in. Hey, I mean. What's up, man? What we what we doing? We 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 going into the bunker? Hey, hey! It's going into the bunker, right. man. Before, it's, before, it's explosions before, going before, on outside. Before we even get in get into it, I just want to say that these past few weeks on Twitter have been very great, have been very helpful for the brand, for what we have planned, my fellow Crack Rock Rock. My crack rock life familiars, the people I've I've bumped heads with, people that I that I always knew, but didn't know their ties. Mm. Um, and I, I don't want to say this on. I do want to say this on wax. I'm, I'm tuned in. I'm connected. Where I need to where where I need to be connected at. You got connections. Is all I'm saying. I got connections. That's all I'm saying. You know what I mean? And I'm starting to gain connections, more connections through this Twitter shit, through the Twitter spaces that I've been in. And I've been gaining the respect from people 
that you know have have a have a, a good following on Twitter. Mm-hmm. Um, and I also want to say that this is the best rap battle we've ever seen in the in the in the fifty years of hip hop. This is uh, uh, I don't really agree with that. Oh oh oh, we got What's some pushback. Better? We got some pushback. Yeah. Yeah, I don't really agree with that. Push them back, man. Push them back. What's, what's better? I don't. What's I, don't better? I don't think. I don't. I, I didn't get an ether yet, so I can't. I can't really. Oh, know, I'm not, yeah, I'm yeah, not right. ready to judge. You know, I'm not ready to compare necessarily. And the energy <sighs> is still not where Pac and Big was at. I don't get it's that energy. Like, it's getting even, there. I was a kid and going outside, like nigga, I felt going outside, like. At that time, like you, you see what I'm saying? But like, let's let's not let's not get it fucked up. Friday night was crazy. Yeah, Friday Friday night was insane. Yeah. That was no, that was I one agree. of the biggest days in hip hop for a long time. Yeah, that was so. that was insane. That was insane. Um, so let's get into it. We 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 start off we, when we ended the pod. Uh, Drake had dropped push ups. Mm hmm. And that was it. That was all. And then we was talking about the Taylor made freestyle. Oh and right. That, yeah, yeah, tell him a freestyle, right, right? And at this point, we haven't heard from old Kung Fu Kenny at all. Yeah, we didn't hear from Kung Fu Kenny at all. Because uh, we're starting to get a little worried. Right. Is he, he going to come outside? Is he? And then he dropped Euphoria. And then Euphoria dropped. Boom! Mm-hmm. Bah! Great disc record. I wasn't the biggest fan of it. Um, It has a lot of replay value for sure. Yeah, I, I, I just wasn't a fan. I, I just felt like the angles he took on there were just already said. And mm-hmm. it wasn't enough. Then he did six sixteen in L.A. And then when that happened, I was like, "Holy shit, we may have a battle on our hands. We may have a battle on our hands." I like dropped them shits back to back, back to back, right? Then Friday comes, Drake drops Family Matters. Family Matters. Wow. Just before we even the angles on that man, like, hold on, hold on. Before we even get to that, what do what do we like about? The Euphoria's and the six one six and uh, what six one six in L.A. Yeah, six sixteen in L.A. I I understand why people like it. I just wasn't a fan of it. And I'm a, like I said, I'm a, I'm a K-Dot fan. You which, know which which trunk are you talking about? Euphoria? Euphoria. Yeah, I was more. Did y'all, I was. Did y'all see all the breakdowns that you know people was trying to get into and shit like that? Yeah, I see that shit. Yeah. I caught everything he said. It wasn't like I missed anything. It just, again, just the angles just wasn't what I felt like Kendrick was How, how did you at. feel initially? My initial was just hearing it like, oh shit, yeah, Kendrick, he, he is a battle now. You know what I'm saying? Like he, this was the first time we, you know what I mean? He right. responded. So I was hyped just off that. Like, oh shit. Right, right, right. Yeah. He, yeah, Kendrick, get that nigga, bro. Don't stop letting them beat you upside the head, my nigga. Like, fight back. I ain't gonna so that- lie. I, I was a little underwhelmed, like, when I first heard it. Um, Eventually, like, it started to become, you know, like, I, I was like, all right, yeah, yeah. All right, I fuck with this shit. Like, but, you know, as, as I heard it more, but. Um, I wouldn't say it's like a fave. Definitely not. I do think everything he's dropped is good, though. Like, I, like you can't deny anything that these niggas is dropping. Like, yeah, these uh, niggas yeah, yeah, are yeah, wild niggas. Level. You, it, it, yeah, was, you, it was good, but I just, just for me personally, it just wasn't. I wasn't. I moved. fucked with that shit. I thought the beat was amazing. That first part, I think part he of the beat, something for everybody, bro. Like every yeah. track he dropped, literally yeah, yeah, so yeah, far, yeah. it's something for everybody. For everybody. And, yeah, facts. And one of them, like it's yeah. not one of them. You can't say you don't like. right, like it's, right, that's right, weird. right. And then sixteen, six, six, sixteen in L.A. came, and I was like, okay, Kendrick. I like the angle he took about you know don't trust them OVO niggas. You know what I mean? I, I like that. I, I like that a lot. That was that was new. People have, people have brought up the OVO, you know, camp, blah, 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 but nobody said it on wax. It was always interviews. Mm-hmm. So it was a mole. It, yeah, it was the mole there. You know what I mean? And things <laughs> like that. We're going to get back to that. We're going to oh, get back man, to that yeah. mole shit. Yeah, it says, stay, stay, keep up with that, that word right there. Yeah, keep up There's with that word. Mole. That's word, that's then, word um, of the day. Yeah, best word of the day. And then, um... Then Friday came around. Friday came this around. This is like Friday night too. This was yeah. like later in the day. 
Yeah, Friday. I'm, Friday. I'm, I'm outside. Like I'm, I'm me and my shorty. I mean, we outside. We had Dave 11, and Buster's 11, around eleven thirty. Yeah, nigga, I, we, it was good time. Like we had Dave and Buster's, and I look at the chat. I think that nigga Mars was like, "Yo, <laughs> the boy is back" or some shit. I'm like, "Fuck, I'm outside. I ain't gonna be able to hear these shit." I had to, I had to, baby. I gotta go to the bathroom real quick just to, <laughs> just to be able to look at my phone for an extended period <laughs> of time. Excuse me, excuse me, partner. Excuse me, excuse me. <laughs> nigga, I'm in the bathroom and I just heard the if I in a fine box box. I'm like, "Oh, this nigga drink is doing the buried alive." Oh shit. <laughs> And that's the only part I heard. I ain't oh, seen the video gonna, yet. We nothing. We're going to get back to that. That that We're going to get back to that. Because you notice that wasn't in the video. Yeah, it, it worked. So then I and I mean, I put a little bit of the video on and I seen the van. I'm like, oh, no, I got to get out of here. I'm going to be in here all night. <laughs> I got to get out of here. Yo, you know, oh, you know what's so funny? I was thinking about like the casual, like, you know, just the casual, right? That might mm-hmm. turn this song on, right? Let's say, let's say, let's say he's like a Kendrick Lamar stand in this spe- specific situation, and he's watching this video, he, you know, along with the song, reading the lyrics. You know what I'm saying? He, I, I was trying to think. I'm like, I'm not really sure if, like, the. You know, like the average, like the casual is gonna like really catch on to that, and that might be sad. What, Eventually the they part? will, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Eventually yeah. they will, and that's that's the beauty in all of that shit. Like you know what I'm saying? Like as time goes on, you you realize how the the brilliance and like was written, like was performed. Like you like wow, ah, these niggas geniuses. Like you know what I'm saying? Like. Everything what? about that visual is just the nigga turned the van into a hearse. Yeah, the most brilliant part for me, and because I was like I said, I was with my shorty, and she's like a casual. She obviously know these niggas, but she not level five. <clears throat> so the brilliant part to me was him captioning the video, like how all yeah. content got captions on it now. So as he's getting these bars off, I'm explaining to her, oh, he talking about Rocky right there. Oh shit, Leland Wayne, that's that's Metro. Uh-huh. So as I mean, the shit is hitting, the balls is hitting. You could actually see it too. So I, I thought that was fucking brilliant. Yeah. Yeah. Like, wow. Yeah, facts. Yeah, no. So you know what I mean? We we leave let's, Dave let's, and let's Busters. Get to the, 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 yeah, okay, yeah, leave Dave and Busters what happened. And we said so that's the first time I got we put that as soon as we got to the crib, boom, YouTube. Put on that motherfucking. But this is at this time, I already know. Oh shit! Kendrick dropped another joint. Another joint. Right. Whoa! Meet the Grams. Not now. And this is where we get to the crib and just start playing both of them shits. Man, how, yeah, how I, was how, how was how was wife feeling about him? So she she's a she fuck with Drake like she loves his music, but she's on the side of she don't really like that nigga either. I don't really know why. Low key, the shit that Kendrick been saying in his recent shit, she been throwing that shit at me like. For a few months now, I'm like, man, you bugging? Like, chill. Like, hell no. Like, so, so played that Kendrick. She was like, see, nigga. I was like, oh well, <laughs> whoa, wait a minute. Like, did you how, did you write this shit? Wait, K dot. What the fuck? Like, what the fuck? what's going on here? She fuck with both of them shits though. Like, she she fuck with just music. So she was she appreciated both of them joints. <laughs> okay, okay. But uh, I think the aspect of just that is happening was. For a casual like her was like, oh shit, like these niggas is these niggas really don't like each other. Yeah, nah, facts. But yeah, y'all, y'all got who y'all go ahead. Yeah, from from y'all side, from actually hearing both of them shits when they drop. I'm I was with my kid. Yeah, I'm with my daughter. So we plumb like baby Drake dropped because she the whole time I picked her up, she know I'm a Drake fan. The first thing she said to me, she gave me a kiss. She said, "Daddy, what is it? The braids." <laughs> what is it, the page? You don't want to work time. with me no more. Okay, the whole, the whole, yo, bro, that whole Friday, bro, she was killing me. What is nah, it, the page? Nah, that and see, that's the beauty of Kendrick too. Like his creativity is more than just the shit he's saying. It's the delivery, it's the voice. Yeah, like. Yeah, mm-hmm. she's like, "What is it? The braids?" The whole time. Fuck all so. that pushing P. Let me see you push a T. So, <laughs> so. You know, Drake dropped, and she was looking at me. I'm looking at her. I'm like, wow. She's like, what's Yo. that truck? I'm like, 
I showed her the album cover for his first album. She was like, oh, that's that truck. I said, yeah. yeah. She's like, oh, nice, nice, nice. Um, <laughs> breaking down real rap. Breaking down real rap to her. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm, this mm-hmm. is an 11-year-old, mind you. So she mm-hmm. liked it. She liked it overall. And then, I, then a few minutes later, I said, hey, Ken- Kendrick dropped. She's like, that fast? I was like, yeah. <laughs> So we play, play that's that. been the whole weekend for me with my shorty too like what again yeah, yeah word so uh we heard the kendrick shit she wasn't moved she was like ah i'm yeah, like that's a, that's a that's a deep cut that's an album cut this yeah 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 i i i i i was like you know all right let's first off uh drugs you you say your piece on when you heard it uh wait which one family matters uh, both and, both yeah, your first right, reaction. Fam- yeah, Family Matters is, is uh, that's insane. Like, that, that, we're gonna I, and I'll, we're gonna break down that and then break down the shit and then we're gonna that, get into the the details of both those diss tracks. Uh, yeah, I don't even like I don't even get into like the rankings, you know, like the hype of like shit, like you know, yo, if it's the greatest or the top three or like his greatest like i don't know where that shit falls right now bro it might be too early to say but that is an insane song bro like, yeah that it, it really is. is like yeah no what was your, what was your initial thoughts on it though what, what did you <sighs> bro I, I went crazy bro like i was i was kind of stuck just listening to it like in a way where you know i couldn't really um like, I couldn't really uh, do anything in the moment. Like, I, w- I really was stuck for a hot second. And then um, I think I got a couple texts. Um, oh, was I watching Actstream? I-, I forget which one was first. I think I was watching Actstream for a little bit. Um, he just so happened to be live. Like He know? was live. He was live. So I turned it on. Yeah, the Drake shit. And, um... They they were saying like in a uh, like he was saying like Kendrick dropped. So once once I seen that I was like oh shit like because you know I already heard Family Matters at this point so I'm like I bet like you know what I'm saying let me go see what's going on. <clears throat> I seen the title that should say Meet the Gramps. I'm like Family Matters Meet the Gramps. I'm like this. So my first thought, I'm like, bro, what's going, what's going on, bro? Like, what, what's up? Like, these niggas is at, like, these niggas setting this shit up. Like, what, what, like this shit coming off like some Hollywood shit. Like, <laughs> these niggas is like playing with playing on WWE? the WWE or something. Like, yeah, like, what, what, what is this? You know what I'm saying? So, um, you know, uh, that that was just off the title alone. You know, I, I just thought it was like too closely related, and. <clears throat> They drop on top of each other. Pause. Like literally, like Family Manners was premiered. Obviously, niggas kind of made mention of it, like right when it was about to drop. Like I guess maybe an hour before, thirty minutes. I'm not really sure the timing of it, but I'm pretty sure. I think uh, Mars told me Drake had told one of them niggas to stay on stream. I don't know if it was Kyle. It was Kyle. It was Kyle. Right, so you know, um, but it's it just kind of weird. Um, the timing of it, like everybody thought it was fire, but I, I didn't really understand how it, that was really possible unless, um, you know, according to these niggas, there's a mole. <laughs> Shout there's out to my nigga Austin Powers, nigga Austin Powers. <laughs> Mole, 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 <laughs> mole, mole, mole. Yo, sidebar, nigga Drake should use that on the next song or some shit. Like, bro, somebody gotta use that. Yeah, Kendrick, something like. But um, yeah, bro. Uh, yeah, like I always tell y'all niggas, bro. Like, even when I'm listening to the song, I'm always thinking deeper than what the song is giving me because that's how I write. Like, I don't care what you probably hear me saying. Nigga, it's deeper than what you hear me saying. Like that ain't the end all be all of the song, nigga. Like that's not what it means. Like <laughs> pay attention to the energy, like the the frequency of the song. You know, like th- there's other little things that I'm giving you that's hinting to other things. 
that's the beauty of diss records too. Like it take, and that's also a part of this where you know I got to stay off of Twitter and just the internet because it's it's too many it's too many voices and too many people that's discussing this shit that ain't really it's not of the culture I guess or really care. But listen, bro, it's not just diss records, bro. It's yeah, it's really that's... music in general, like, and especially we talking about these two niggas. Yeah, One of these facts. niggas got a whole Pulitzer Prize for an album. Mm-hmm. Never seen it done. Yeah, the that's, next that's nigga, some wild shit. The, the next nigga has a million relationships with a million women on every album. And somehow this nigga finds a new way to tell us about it. And his life too. Yeah, nigga, ain't no regular niggas doing these things. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, there's... These these niggas they they write, you know, is everything is like a metaphor. So even what you hearing is you know is is deeper than that. So that's that's some of the the things I always admired about these niggas. But meet the Grams in general, uh, I fell asleep. Nigga said I sleep. Yeah, the, uh, whole, the whole, the whole, him hiding the daughter thing, and it's not whack. It's not, I know, you know, don't, don't. I'm not like I said. None of these records are whack. I, I don't think any of these niggas is whack. So I, that's that's wild to say for anybody. Like you, you clearly should shut up. Like you know, respectfully. Like everybody has their own opinion, but nobody want to hear anybody talk about who's whack. Like nigga, shut up. Like if if it's whack to you, don't listen. Like it's just, it's just point blank, <laughs> but uh, yeah, bro, it 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 didn't really move me, bro. Like I I was like, ah, okay, okay, yep, yep, yep. He telling it like it's like a parenting song. Okay, I'm learning some things. <laughs> then he brings yeah, I mean, the, then he yeah, brings up ahead, the daughter, ahead. him hiding the daughter, and it's just like, all right, Kendra. Uh, yeah. When he said the daughter, I'm like, bro, what are we even doing? What is, what's wrong with these niggas? Like, right. It's like these niggas was like cousins that had pro like you know what I'm saying like they always was fighting like when they was younger and shit like that like yeah the, it, that yeah. it came off and I, I fuck with it obviously it came off a real like auntie did you see what what what, what Aubrey did like, he, called that, he called that nigga a master manipulator <laughs> like nigga you making this nigga sound crazier than you. <laughs> That and I, I hear what you're saying. Like, obviously, the record was good. It's just from coming off of the hype and the the tempo of the Drake record, especially it came with a visual. Difference. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, and it's like that. People, the way it dropped, right? Back to that specifically, and, and I know we gonna we gonna elaborate on all this, but people thought it was his timing. You know what I'm saying? Like. That that's one of the things we so we so uh, impressed by, even in hip hop, right? The response time. Yeah. Right. It's like he stepped on the record. Yeah, he stepped on it so much so that it's it don't even it's not even realistic, nigga. Yeah. Right. Exactly. Nigga, it literally it it pro- it came out when his shit came out. Yep. So think about that, like you know what I'm saying? How what? So let's get to it. Let's get to and that I'm, part. I'm gonna go out on the limb before we get into the details of of this and where it's headed. That second verse on on Family Matters is the best rapping I've heard in ten years. I'm gonna be honest with you. The last boy wonder. Ah, oh, man, this nigga's insane. Shut the up, the last part of it is my favorite part, but I'm with you though. That <laughs> that second. Yeah. Yeah, the last part like set it off. Like for the, me, I was the, bro, I started, the last I'm part. laughing as I'm listening to the song. By the time the third part comes on, like, but I'm still like, oh my god, this nigga's like, now he's like giving you melodies, bro. Like yeah. you said, you love the you love bro with the melodies, bro. He he giving you melody. She's that second verse, my nigga is is evil. That's yeah, he sec- he chopped them up. He chopped everybody up. Real, he yeah. gave each nigga one yeah. ball and yeah. each like a ball for themselves. Rocky yeah. here, you hold that. Ross here, you hold that. And then ended, and then ended, and then ended it with a Ross. Mm-hmm. All these bodies, Rick, you're gonna have to read my Miranda rights. Oh my god, 
the the shit with it it sounded like the future part really hurt him like he was like yo damn bro we ain't never had no problem i Ma- know it was this nigga metro that got you clowned you into this stupid shit yeah that's what i said what, what i said earlier about that I think that's the part that hurt him the most. I don't yeah. think he really care about any uh, of this other shit. Yeah, facts. And I think niggas made great fucking music. They made bro. diamonds like, dancing. Bro, the niggas made desires. But niggas don't. He don't get enough credit for that. Who and what? Just for him saying that in the midst of all of this. Mm, mm. That's on a whole disc record, bro. <laughs> That nigga yeah. say, yo, bro, like, that shit hurt me, nigga. Like, I, nigga, I don't <laughs> even know why we... Why nigga, we I was sick to my like, stomach. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, so you let this clown nigga get you into this shit? Yep. So, all right, now here's the breakdown. So, there's an album cover for Meet the Grams. Freak, freak. And uh, it's a picture of a t-shirt, some gloves that has made back on it, mm. um, some prescription pills. And mind you, the Maybach glove was what the six sixteen in L.A. How right. he dropped that on Instagram. Right. It was just half. It was just that portion. Right, 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 right. Um, and then uh, yeah, and there's a shirt shorty collection. Um, so people though people are wondering what's what's going on, and I got a little birdie. Um, before the the the, the viral post on Twitter, I got a little birdie that was telling me that that shit was fake. It wasn't. The whole thing is a diss. Kendrick fucked up using that. Wait, so what? <laughs> Explain that some more, because I'm still a little Drake unclear. As- no. Mm. All right, I'm putting you like this. Family Matters is a reply to Meet the Grams. Okay. This is what I was getting at. Like the the, the It is a reply. That's why the, the song is called Family Matters. It's the it's the double entendre. And the, the notice the background is a picture of LA. You see what I was saying earlier? The way it dropped. It seemed as though right. Family Matters came out, and, then he, <laughs> and Meet he, the Grams was literally a reply. You're right. That stepped on it, like you know what I'm saying. But but it's the opposite. Nah. It's the opposite. It is the it is it is a fact. It is the opposite. Drake knew of the Meet the Grams record because Euphoria. He mentioned Adonis, but he didn't mention him. He didn't mention. He didn't mention his son. He just said, "You don't know nothing about being a dad." If anything, he's coming at you as a father. It mentioned your kid. So for you to say, bring up, you know, you mentioned my son. Now you're going to meet his dad. Mm-hmm. It's replying to that third verse. In that, sec- in that first verse, in that third, in that, in that, the, th- the first and third verse of Meet the Grams. Now, the t shirt is a brand that doesn't exist. There is no such thing as a shorty collection. <laughs> Yeah, it's crazy that nobody like actually re- like looked at the image, bro. Like that's wild. They just son. saw that and saw the pills or whatever. That. And that's what somebody said. Oh, you can't post pills or Apple Music. That's why he changed it. No, that's not true uh-huh. because that's not true. You can have any I, type of artwork. I, I, I was about to say I seen some some wild like you know some wild oh, artwork. Yeah, that, yeah, so. exactly. Oh, that know, so let's, let's, let's so let's get more into like just you know I mean divulging how and why I think it is the other way around. Oh, I'm getting to it. Yeah, so, um, the pills is prescribed from a pharmacy, right? Pharmacy nine zero two one zero. Where's nine one? Where, what area code is that? That's a uh, Beverly Hills, California, or Hollywood, or some shit. California, mm-hmm. exactly. Okay, the gloves was letting Kendrick letting niggas know that he's on Rick Ross's ass. The murder glove, the murder weapon. It was literally a, a Maybach glove. One glove. A Maybach glove. Right? One black OJ glove, bro. Yeah. Now, the brown tag with the receipt is... The brown tag is from a jeweler, female jeweler, or artist, per se, who did Drake's engagement chain. I don't know if you guys remember a few months ago, a few years ago, Drake had, um, around the time CLB came out, he had a chain that represented all the women that he was supposed to marry. Yeah, I remember that. She right. made that chain. That tag is hers. Mm-hmm. So he got duped. Kendrick got duped. Now I'm, explain. I'm, I, I'm not. Yeah, I'm not. Yeah, I'm still not following. Real quick, like, real quick though, how did Kendrick get this artwork? Where Where did the inspiration come from, though? There was a fake mole. 
The, there was a mole, but the mole was a double agent. This is when it got spooky for me because I started to kind of peep. That's what I'm saying. Like, I was questioning things off rip. And none of these niggas really move just to move. Um, but except one nigga's a little bit ahead of the other, usually. And that's, you know. Right. And that's that goes back to the line in the second verse goes, which one of my niggas, which one of my niggas? That also is a double entendre. Because of much which which one of my so called niggas? Which one of my so called niggas I'm about to kill next? And which one of my so called niggas snitched? Who's the mole? And that's why he said which one of my niggas at the end he ended it need a shell in the clip. So yeah, Drake one up them. That pissed Kendrick off in the equipment. <laughs> leaders of the equipment. I'm still I'm still not rolling or following that all the way, but I'm hearing you. I'm hearing you. I mean the double agent thing, like it makes sense, but I like it I it, I just feel like it didn't impact the impact wasn't as big as if that was really the it case. Is. That was the whole you gotta remember that's that's the whole thing. Or remember that's push the push point. the whole thing like it was a it's a mole, like nigga, somebody telling your info, like you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like that right, was right, right. That's the thing. Like that was the thing they ran off of and they then they told the team. Now, like, you know now, what I'm saying? Right. Now that Kendrick realized he got duped. Now, yeah, yeah, I don't know if you knew this. Meet the Grams was unlisted on YouTube for days. All right, you were saying that. How how we figure that out? Uh it was in his in his um it was in Kendrick Lamar's uh YouTube channel. It was just an unrestricted video. Nah, but I mean, like, how was that? Like, did that come out? Yeah, it came I mean, out. You yeah, could... yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, it was an unrestricted video. It was unlisted, and then he put it out. So you had that already. Niggas knew you had that. Again, that's why it's called Family Matters. But again, that's the only way I could drop the same time you can drop. That exactly. Much, exactly. So now, right? Kendrick is angry. I got duped. So now the next thing I'm going to do is call you a pedophile. Now you're a pedophile. I got duped. Fuck it. You're a pedophile. And now we have Not Like Us, which dropped yesterday. I don't know. Like, I... The timeline of that, because in the... In the now notice. Meet the Grams, he, he mentioned the pedophile stuff in there, too. He mentioned OVO camp. Being being sex offenders and perverts, he didn't say pedophiles. Now, when this I mean, new song, he was implying that he was implying sex offenders. It's a difference. If I go outside right now and grab a thirty year old's pussy, I'm a sex offender. I'm not a pedophile. It's a difference. It's a huge difference. I mean, but in the because so I'm following the timeline based off how kind of like y'all explained it. And then like the 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 being duped. So from the timeline, it was Euphoria. Then Family Matters came out first on Friday. No, six one six came out Thursday. Oh yeah, six one six. Where I, I honestly, this has been so many records, I can't even remember what he was talking about on six one six. Six one six. He was talking about there's a uh. He was talking about there. Being... Oh yeah, there's there being a mole in the crew or some right. shit. Right. Okay, I worry, worry, worry. Right, right. Then, then Friday comes around, nighttime, Family Matters drop, which I said is a response to what Kendrick said on Meet the Grams, which came out after. Right. But in Meet the Grams, he's saying, like, yo, keep your keep your daughters away from them. That's implying pedophile. That's implying sex. Yeah, he is implying, he is implying that, but he you can't you can say that, but don't put he didn't use the P word though. He didn't I, use it. But I think that's where, like, you know, I mean, the next one comes in, boom. I, I just don't see how it would line up to where, like, let's say they were feeding Kendrick fake information, which could be possible. You know what I mean? That's still, the possible, I, I the can't possible confirm was, or was deny confirmed. that. He, can't, he didn't use the album cover for the, the streaming platform release. He took the album cover off. So how did he get the album cover? Is like, was, somebody like, so they, gave, somebody gave him a fake album cover? If somebody gave him a fake picture, yes. Got it, got it, got it. It just seemed like, because I mean, notice I don't the, know. Notice, notice the t-shirt. The shorty collection with a dog in the front 
wearing a red collar. Top dog. Shorty yeah. collection. Bro, there's what the fuck? Google shorty collection, nigga. Like, what, what the <laughs> fuck is a shorty collection, nigga? Like, I'm what? not discrediting that that happened. I just don't see, like, nigga, I, I don't know. It, it seemed like it's it in didn't... the song, nigga. Go back and listen to the song. He talked about this shit, bro. It's no, it's not a coincidence. At that point, you like, bro, bro, bro. What? That's what I'm saying. And that's that's why oldest, I started to say, what Hollywood oldest... shit is this? These and, niggas and know now, each other? That's what, the what reason why he said don't not like us. Aren't you tired of, of all this trolling? Aren't you all this trolling? Aren't you tired? He's angry. Kendrick is angry at this point. He's mad. He's not spiraling. He's mad he got duped. You thought you had the one up on me, nigga. All right, well, guess what? Now you're a pedophile on a DJ Mustard beat. And that's just what it is. I don't know if I'm rolling. I, I believe the, the double agent thing. I just don't think it like it it made that big of an impact. Oh, it, it, it did. It, Trust me. It, it that's, did. That's it, the it, turnout to what's going on right now, gang. Did. Right? You that's, gotta, the tur- that's the turnout of him energy. dropping a day after. <laughs> that's the turnout of him dropping. A, that's the reason why he dropped a day after. Bro, that's it's probably why he's going to drop every day for like the next day. few days. Yeah. And this this has been low-key confirmed by West Coast niggas. He's supposed to be dropping later today. Yeah, I, I saw that. That nigga Daylight and these niggas were saying, I don't know, like, eh. So and the fact that they saying he going to drop is even crazier to me. Because yep. they don't really be knowing when he's going to drop, right? That could be some type of secret. So they, they're letting it be known. And somebody, somebody said, Mickey Fax was it. He's tired of the battle rap. So was Daylight. He said it's going to be a long week for Drake. He said it's going to be a long week. And Kendrick did allude to him having five diss tracks. He said he had ten actually in the chamber. One, one plus one, two, three, four, five plus top, plus five. So you know he got, <laughs> he's angry right now. He's he's angry at the share of of the of the fact that wrong word that the fact that he got duped by Drake in a battle where public perception has Kendrick taken this battle. So now it's like you have a plan, right? It's like you you have a plan. You got the you got the media on your side, right? Everybody's everybody every time you drop niggas like oh yeah Drake is finished Drake is finished and behind closed doors you take an L you literally you think about you can niggas can out you like right. I have your opponent has the power to flip it on your head bro right right so like Drake, flip the let, whole shit bro so let's hypothetically say if drake was to drop yesterday instead of kendrick and bring that up kendrick was done got it got it got it got it you okay, understand make, what i'm saying make, make, make some sense now, he's not gonna sense. do that he's not gonna do that because he wants and to I, find a way to draw this out and kill yeah, this now he got now he got to make people forget about uh meet the grams and what's the perfect way to make the people forget about Meet the Grams? Is the per- he did the perfect thing. Genius move. He dropped a banging single on a M- DJ Mustard beat. He called him a pedophile. He did a little yeah. dance. He got a little dance shit to it. Now it's viral. Perfect execution. Right. Perfect. These are geniuses we're dealing with. That's perfect. Yeah, bro. You got to, bro. Come on. Like, he adjust. He did an audible. And these niggas the audible is nasty, was bro. These niggas is nasty. Nasty. That's why I be trying to tell niggas bro these ain't regular niggas <laughs> these and ain't I was in the, regular shout out, to, shout out to all my niggas that was in the space with us last night but I was in there with a with a, a fangirl she's a respectable lady she's wonderful but she is a fangirl she's a Drake stand to the core she doesn't like Drake at all and I was trying to let them know like listen wait she's a Drake stand girl and doesn't like Drake she doesn't like Kendrick I'm sorry oh, 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 oh. and I was trying to let them know huh, and a few other chicks in there beautiful woman let them know that listen, Kendrick can do because they were saying that you know Kendrick can can wear himself out and drag this out and people going at the at, at at some point people gonna be like all right we're tired of it. I said no, this plays into the boogeyman perception. This is Kendrick I, Lamar. That's but this is why I was saying I, yo, this is why I think it's this is why his opponent is not going to flip this right now. He's gonna draw it out. Because he he wants he wants y'all to believe whatever it is he got us believing. Right, exactly. Exactly. Just so he can slowly 
you know, show niggas like the opposite, basically. The opposite, like, maybe, but he, he want to troll in there, and like it, it all makes sense because they saying it to each other, bro. They saying this shit on the song. Like you can hit, you know what I'm saying? Like it's not like it's not too much of a coincidence when the nigga is on the track telling you. Every time these niggas get on record, bro, you could hear and what they saying like. So now it's to the point where I got word Drake is dropping tomorrow. I'm gonna put that on the lip. I got so word. So when this part is out, when this part it's is gonna out, be another record out. Uh, later that day. Okay. Okay. Um, and it's gonna get real dark for Kendrick Lamar, from what I heard. It's gonna get real dark. Not, not that is not that is not already. Not, uh, that's, that's, that's already not, not that not that the sky yeah not that the sky is. But um, you, know. you put you put the p word on Drake, and yeah. Drake yeah, is not happy about that. And cra- Drake, Kendrick is crashing out. I said this in the space the other day. Kendrick is cra- calling somebody a pedophile on wax on a dance record. Is crashing out, hey, bro. I'm and flipping the whole you, to the we ain't never board. heard yeah. no nigga say no weird shit like that, bro. Like, yeah, we ain't never heard anything like that bro. on wax. Yeah, pedof- We've never heard that. Like, nigga, what? Never yeah, this has definitely been taken to new heights. It's been taken to new heights, and Drake is taking it to a new height. Now, I don't know if how level if y'all want me to level five things. I don't know if if the crack rock La familiar is ready for the level five things. Hey man, we that's what we here for, man. All right, well, fuck it. The yeah, red the button up. is not going to be pushed yet. The red button, there's a reason, yay, why Drake keep making fun of his height. Mm-hmm. You know, Drake is smart. Drake not just making fun of his height for no reason. He's not saying this nigga is short, a little nigga for no reason. Because in the big play of things, he is a little nigga in this whole equation. Mm-hmm. Okay? Mm-hmm. Remember there's a bar Drake has when he goes, you know how we know how these niggas rock. They throw stones. Remember that line? What is a recent this or wasn't nah, I it forgot what song was that? Uh what's that? Um um White Boy. That's White Boy song. Um drama. Oh, 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 um Jack. Jack, yeah. I believe the that's Churchill that verse, Downs right? joint. Yeah, Churchill's down. Yeah, right, yeah. right, 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 right. Chuz got the Chuz got the magazine cover like Roller Stones. We already know how they rock. They throwing stones. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Did you catch that? Say the line again. Chubbs got the magazine cover like Rolling Stones because we know how they rock. They throwing stones. Nah, that went over my head. Break it down. I just broke it down to you. We know how they rock. They throw. They throw stones. Yeah, I wish y'all niggas could see my face. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know, I know. You know what it means. You probably just thinking, yeah, even you deeper. You, you thinking but that's, deeper, but it's that's right what he's trying to tell you. He's, we know it's, how they it's rock. Just that they throw stones. Yeah. Hey, rock for the people. Rock? Explain it for the people. Rock. I'm, I'm, people I'm, I'm thinking rock. I'm thinking J Rock. I'm thinking crack rocks. J- crack J Rock, Crack Rocks. What else is Rock? Jay Z's Rockefeller. There you go. And the winner is. It was literally that, bro. Like that's what I was saying. It's 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 not that deep, but it's it is it's right deep. in your face. Okay, so so back to the red button. The red uh, button is essentially a Rock Nation destruction. This, bro. <laughs> It is it is the death of Rock Nation. Rock Nation destruction. Bro, this is yeah, this a Dragon Ball Z move, right? I know. <laughs> I was thinking about that for a while. That's 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 the that's the leader. That's who's that's behind this whole corruption game. For whole, for whole, for he's, he was behind the Meek Mill. He listen, he was behind a lot of niggas don't even didn't even peep. He's behind the 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 push the T this. He okay. Push the T could have used any other beat. He used the Jay Z beat. True. Yep. Be real here. And that beat ain't even that fire. That beat no, ain't even that fire. It's not. Could have had Ye it's it. not. It's really not. Kind of. Mm. And, and it kind of ruined the whole song. To too. It, 
kind of added on to it. Drake responded with Duppy pretty quick, but he was getting that mostly yay on that shit. Yeah, or the higher exactly. ups, as he say. Right. So what's the so what's the uh, what's the red button? The destruction disc. What's the, that? The, the destruction disc is taking everybody out with me. It's going at the real niggas. Like, the real niggas who's everybody. behind everything. He said he gonna kinda crash out all the way. Everybody. Yeah, he's yeah. gonna crash out all of them. But before he do that, he is going to obliterate. Kendrick Lamar's marriage or pre-engagement, as as he alluded to on the last verse of Family Family Matters. It is time. You call me a pedophile? All right, cool. Now I'm gonna have the club jamming to domestic violence. <laughs> oh man, and this this is why Cole, you a smart nigga, my boy. <laughs> Nah, fuck that. He should have got in here too. Nah, nah. I'm so and I Cole told Mars that nigga, again. I, again, I said that too. Back to that. Like I said last part, Cole, that's my nigga, man. Uh, he knew. He, that nigga knew. He said, oh, y'all niggas is wildin', yeah. bro. Let me go make a jam with Kurt Cash I, I told, Cobain, I, I, nigga. I, I, I'm saying, bro. I'm saying. I, I peeped the vision, Cole. Man, fuck all this shit, bro. Like, what these niggas on, bro? Nah, facts. Imagine Cole calling one of these niggas a fucking, uh, fucking sexual offender or some shit like. So, yes, so what's so, Kendrick Angle like? Kendrick Angle, this is, that's out there now. He can't take that back. Right, exactly. Kendrick's Angle, and that song is a fucking banger too. Banger. Kendrick's Angle is to destroy Drake. That's his angle. There is no. It's the, at this point, there's no more strategic shit going on. About so this is last night. There is no nothing. The strategic shit is out the window now. Why? Because you tried to be strategic and it backfired on you. Yeah, the world thinks that that was a reply, but you know deep down inside it wasn't, nigga. That's why you backed out the p word. He had it's like he had the p word like in a in a Batman glove, a Batman <laughs> compartment. He was like, oh, "Where's that? Oh, here it goes." That's the big. He had the big Joker. That's big the Joker, four yeah. card. He was like, yeah, "Fuck it, nigga. Y'all niggas picking up four right now." All right, Bro. and I'm gonna go out. Drake ain't no fucking. None of them niggas. They, Baca may have a sexual offense against him. The niggas ain't pe- the real pedophile in this is James Gunn. <laughs> That's the real pedophile at the top of the pedophile chambers of of the pedophilia ring. Okay, that nigga is the leader of He's the, the leader. He is the pedophile. He is. He puts the fucking. The P in pedophile, okay? That's why I'm trying to tell y'all niggas, bro. The spookiest part about this shit is that artwork to me for some weird reason. Just goes to show. How him, how he got that, him making it artwork, dropping it the same time Family Matters, Family Matters drop. The title is related, like, in a weird way. It's, like what? Like and and then on top of the video being as ominous as the video is, the video is very ominous. The video is very dark. So very he didn't even he didn't even perform no lyrics. Who's the nigga at the end with the bandana on? He's a part of Hell's Angels Bikers Club. That's but his neighbor, I think. There's a reason why he wears the red bandana, symbolizing that nigga. The there's mole. No mole, nigga. He's wearing a red bandana for a reason. Quote unquote. He's wearing a red bandana for a reason. That's the mole. That's the mole. He's playing the role of the mole in the video. Yeah. And Drake is wearing the engagement ring that Kendrick gave to his wife at the end of the video. The exact ring? (sighs) The way it's looking, yes. It's on his neck. It's on his neck. This has been confirmed that that's the ring that God it, gave Shorty? It has not been confirmed. Of course, it's not. the ring that she has is the same ring he has. That's, that's all we're saying. Then this nigga shows all Pharrell chains. He got it reappraised, too. You see how it was shining? He did, he did get got the reappraised. the whole collection. He, he, he yeah, did that shit like disrespect. Well, I'm, glad, I'm just glad he didn't melt them shits down, bro. Yeah, facts. I'm glad he didn't. Bro, at the end of the day, he crazy. lied about that shit. No, no, no. He, he reneged on it on her loss when he said, no, on, 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 on stories with my brother. Oh, what was it? Was it? Is it her loss or stories with my brother? I'm not sure. Either, either or. It was on Scary Hours, I believe. That's for all the dogs. For all the That's, dogs. Right, right, right. He did say he got it reappraised. On Evil Ways, he got it reappraised. That's a that's another thing. Who what whose stories about my brother are really about? Oh, Kendrick. Yeah, I was thinking that. 
You're not Kobe Bryant to us. It's definitely about Kendrick. People in chat was like, oh, it's not about... It's about Kendrick, nigga. Him and Kobe Bryant have an interview just talking about how they compare each other's careers. Mm. So back to the... Why you think he... he uh, Because you were saying specifically the, the short angle. Where where does that come into play? Oh, he's a little nigga. He's not the big homie in all this. Mm. You're not my... You the, you really the little nigga. You an industry puppet. You're not the nigga that... You're not the nigga that... That I should really be going after. But I'm going to dust you off. And then I'm going to get to... The prize possession of... Of of your little camp. I'm going to... It's, it's, it's time, Hove. And Hove's going to have to step out. But, it, but he don't... But he's not... It, Drake is gonna look crazy this to Jay Z out of nowhere, so he has to play it right, which he will. He's gonna keep alluding to it. He's gonna keep alluding to it. Yeah, we're gonna see, bro. We're gonna see. Watch, it's, it's all gonna play out the way Drake wants to play. It. Drake is. I feel like I'm going out on a limb on this. I didn't get no word from this. I didn't. I'm going out on a limb that he's gonna drop that red button and retire. <laughs> <laughs> nah, for real. If I push that this red sense. button, dog, everything forever changes. What could that mean? What could that mean? Like, what what could be the just? Because I'm I, I'm I'm following. Like, I'm I'm rolling with this theory with y'all just for the sake of the pod, and you know what I mean for this. Let's just say what could he say or do? That word pedophile comes with an Uno reverse card. <laughs> <laughs> that's all. That's all I'm gonna say. In drugs, you catch where I'm going with that. All right, then. All right, then. Excuse all I'll say is 50... Foxy, Foxy Brown was 15. That's all, all, all I'm going to say. All I'm going to say is 50 don't make mistakes. Exactly. Ex thank you. You are adding. Thank you. Thank 50, you. 50 don't really make mistakes. Thank you, and gang. Here where I'm coming from with this. Uh -huh. So Cook. my nigga Andrew Schultz, you know it's what I mean? He's 50, too. Not to mention that. I'm, I'm going to keep... Niggas ain't people. Oh. Uh, what you mean? What do you what you the mean? The support of 50 niggas mm -hmm. is following that, bro. Yo, yo, yeah, it's the reason he got that G on the chain. He didn't get that. Uh, yeah, yeah. Like, so yeah, that's this is where I'm going with all Go this, with, right? Because you got I see the back make back uh big, yeah, hold back on, let me, in the oven. I see it. Yeah, let me oh I gotta get the uh the panko for the chicken. Hold right, on. Let me right. get that right quick. Right. Get the oil, oil, oil simmering. Uh huh. <laughs> I'm a, it's gonna I'm a, I'm a take a long way to get to where I'm going. So my nigga Andrew Schultz, I think he's probably the GOAT comedian right now. The nigga just sold out two back-to-back -back Madison Square Garden shows. The nigga came up fast. He's literally one of the GOATs. Him and 50 got a relationship now. They cool. He bought 50 out at the show. 50 performed at the end of the show. Fire shit. Like, at the garden, my nigga. Like, garden. So, you know what I mean? During this whole time when he first met Fifth, Schultz kind of alluded. I'll be watching Brilliant Idiot. Shout out Schultz and Charlemagne. He alluded on that shit. This is around the whole Puff situation. He said, yo, Diddy, uh, 50, I should have known something about Diddy because 50 been kind of coming at him for years and 50 just don't come at nobody for no reason. Like, there's always a reason. Fast forward, you know what I mean? They, he, I think he brings up Jay's name. He's like, yeah, 50, he's talking about Jay too. Charlemagne get kind of like, she piped down a little bit. Because, you know, in this situation, Schultz is just a white boy. He's not in hip-hop. He's just throwing shit out there. It could come across like that. I think 50 might have told Schultz some shit. Like, in the... Just shooting the shit they cool. He might have asked, like, 50, why you don't really fuck with Jay? Like, you don't fuck with Puff. I, you know, it seems like you don't really fuck with Jay either because you've got to think. When that Puff shit came out, 50 did go on Instagram and say, yo, anybody seen Jay? Where Jay at? <laughs> And you're not just gonna throw that out there for no reason, bro. Like, why? Why would you bring this next nigga into the when, shit? When and when in all reality, Hope don't really be with Diddy like that. So why'd you say that? What, what do you mean by that? What do you mean by that? So again, Drake has a G in his spinner chain, which was remade by Johnny Dang. And Fifty been heavy in between this whole thing. Like but he's posting the disses. He's posting the disses. Who cared being involved? I always thought that was he strange. He, he's he's fifties playing chess at the same time. He doesn't want to give it off like he's just supporting Drake, so he's going to promote Kendrick too. Yeah, and I, and I think genuinely he but probably he puts more effort into the Drake the Drake replies than he does the Kendrick replies. You notice that, he though. said he got a bomb. He fifty definitely say yo Drake, but this is where it gets confusing to me in these alliances. 
This nigga Maul is heavily like OVO. Right. He's clearly biased. He, if he uh Maul, because I have I have like a I have an owl. I have an owl stamp. Like I'm getting my owl stamp in the mail soon. <laughs> um Maul is like level grade three OVO. I'm like, I'm about to hit level one. His connections with Jay, though, is where this whole thing, if he's make he he may not, so may, let's say he doesn't know, because obviously he wouldn't know uh, everything that Drake's going to do. Where, where does that leave that nigga like? Oh, wait, and just getting back to the 50 part, just to close that, 50 literally just opened up the second biggest movie studio that owned by a black person in Shreveport. Like, he's doing real big shit. 50 is what niggas think Hove is. Oh. Uh, oh, oh, damn! I call that nigga Sean. That nigga named Sean. <laughs> <laughs> I'm tired of this whole shit. Yeah, well. <laughs> I ain't heard that nigga rap in years for us to still be calling him that shit. <laughs> yep. God damn! Look at what rap does. They got me dishing Jay Z. Yeah, Holy for shit. real, for real. It's it's, and I hate Jay Z. Is he's number two to me, but. <laughs> You know, after this, I don't know. Drake is looking like number two. My nigga Kendrick said, to make a Canadian nigga make pop turn in his graves. Get your business. You got shit twisted. What, what is it? It's the braids? What is it? The braids? <laughs> you don't want to do no song with me no more. Okay. <laughs> we getting some top tier content at the end of the day from that nigga this said, shit, Kendrick man. just opened his mouth. Somebody give him a Grammy right <laughs> Yeah, the nigga went to the same rest. Ah, oh, yo, and this is where it gets spooky. This is why I say I started looking into the shit, and the shit is it's spooky, bro. Like, yo, yo, he got robbed. Yo, did y'all hear about the nigga that went, that did the video at the restaurant, dissing wraps up and all them niggas, and he died? I ain't even want to put that out there. Yeah, 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 that's why I got spooky, yeah, bro. Like, what, yeah, I already knew what he was talking about. That's why I wasn't. Yeah, I wasn't might, about to say might that. Might have to bleep that because that shit is real shit, that's nigga. Real. Like, I'm just, I'm just reporting how I saw it. <laughs> nigga, we already knew exactly oh, what that was. that man, bro. But damn, like, cause that's the. I, I just don't like that shit, bro. Like, I want to hear rap music, bro. I don't want violence and shit to start happening. Nah, me either. Cause that shit is like, I mentioned that, bro. When like that dropped, I said Kendrick don't sound like he just rapping, my nigga. He sounds very upset, like. And them West Coast niggas be they already got a chip on their shoulder for what reason? I don't know. They feel like nobody like them and shit. Dumb, and if you go on Twitter, it's mad random West Coast niggas that's like fully behind Kendrick on this shit. Yep. Yeah, I seen this nigga O'Shea Jackson Jr. beefing, hyping this shit. I'm like, yo, Ice Cube, son, what you doing? Like, but why did he even rap? Why did he shout out YG, Chuck T, CB, and Family Matters? <laughs> Man, if game whole, witty. Where does game get involved Snoop, with this? Why, and why, why is does game Snoop okay? You know, tell me, tell me why that nigga posted that shit on his Cali page. Is, if, or if the whole coast is tracking, uh, uh, don't really sound right to me. It don't, don't really sound like everybody is there. This is. Uh, at the end of the day, this shit is coming down to real like gang shit. Uh, no, nah, it's not gonna get there. It's, nah. gonna, it's, it's, it's gonna sound like it's there. Yeah, but it's but not nah. gonna get there. It's gonna be it's gonna be between them two, and then it's gonna lead to Drake having to destroy everybody. Yeah, nah, it's don't, yeah, nobody. Because they they don't, and you know they they not taking it to that. Like they they not seeing it as that between them two. It's not, you know, that's not their energy. So nobody is looking at it like that, in my opinion. So hey, shit, y'all niggas, y'all niggas out there keep putting out the raps, man. All yeah. that extra shit, the with the restaurants and all this shit, like y'all niggas lead that shit to the for, to the movies. Nigga said, hey, "Where's the uncle at? I ain't talking to the man of the house." <laughs> Oh, that's cra- that's the crazy. That's the bro. craziest shit ever. I'm telling y'all, oh, when they man. got to that part of the of the video, the song, like I'm like, bro, 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 what is happening? 
<laughs> yeah, that change up to that beat, that shit, and is, like you said, getting real ominous. Literally, like it opens spinning the chain. Out. Yeah, the G unit chain is the part for me where it just seems like Fifty is involved. There is indirectly. Support. There is. There is. I've heard it too, but I I was told to uh, to just chill. Is he Drake is cooking, and he's cooking to the point where there may be a mixtape coming. Hmm. We already know who kid is. Who kid is tied, is, but, is is presenting the mixtape? You know. It's a who kid mixtape, and it is the death of Kendrick Lamar, the, the death of the West Coast. It is, it's that. It is that. Yeah. There's a mixtape coming. How does this end? How does how does this what ends, is the this final ends, this ends nail with, in the coffin for Kendrick? If if that is the case that we're saying, here. this ends with the greatest rap all off. That's how this ends, and 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 this is for all the marbles. I, I predict that there will be another 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 rap battle to this magnitude ever again in rap. And anybody else notice there's like a weird eerie silence going on as far as like. Who's talking? Who's not? Who's yes. putting out music? Who's not? Content, you mean? Because I thought it was kind of weird. This nigga Joe randomly canceled the pie. All of these things is like, you know, and, and no, not not because that could be anything. You know, they could have just took a week off. You know, we we never really know what. That what they nah, they. Is. I think he said they they put that episode is is on the pay is behind Patreon. Yeah, but they didn't get that. into like they didn't do like they weren't talking about this type shit. Mm. I don't know. It's just I because the industry like there's a clear industry like that's against Drake. Charlemagne said that yeah, on the it's most like recent pod. It's unfolding pod. now, and that's what I'm a, saying. There's and the that's, silence that's, like, to the red button. That play. That's why. That's why everybody's quiet because everybody is like. Everybody's low key right now. What is Drake gonna do? Kendrick is. We know what Kendrick is doing. What is Drake gonna do? Cause that video set a blaze. I, I was telling Drugs, cause me and Drugs talk. We talk about computers. We talk about dog. Talk about Dragon Ball Z. We this the the family matters is the who shot you. Mm. It's the who shot you. It is. And everybody's trying to label does not like us as if it's to hit them up. Notice that. You noticing that, right? Mm. Notice I ain't get enough chance to like no, see the, no, the yo, it's responses already, and shit. It's already 14 million views. It's yeah, okay. that shit. It's already being, it's already being TikToked. It's already being played in clubs, right? Yeah, they had that shit going and up they're, last they're only night. Doing, they're only doing that. People are being told to play that shit in clubs. Why? To promote it. To push it, just like everybody was pushing, hit him up when hit him up came out. This is that it's not a hit him up, but it's at the level of it as far as the disrespect, the words that are being said on that song. Yes, it is a bop, but that song is very disrespectful to the highest degree. Yeah, I gotta I gotta run it back again just to hear the words. I was he too used busy the dancing. Word pedophile. That's like all you need to know. Certified pedophile. That a certif- he certified it like. Like 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 a like a Rotten Tomato score. It's certified fresh. No, yeah, he like fully campaigned <laughs> in that. Like yeah, that's his. Yeah, he Rotten Tomato did. He, yeah, he, he fully gave it the That's what I'm saying. How could you get to that point if you ain't got no type of like? That's it, his. The, that's his red button. The same way. The same way. That <laughs> that's Tupac his red button. Said that's why I fucked your bitch. You fat. That was his red button. That yeah. was Tupac's red button. That's why I fucked your bitch. You fat motherfucker. That mm-hmm. was it. Right. That was that hit him up. Nobody, no, everybody in the world knows the lyrics. I know the lyrics to hit him up because I'm a hip hop fucking junkie. So I even I know Outlaws verses. I feel like what's the fat nigga from the Outlaws? Use a beat by the Pac style taker. That shit is the best version of the song. <laughs> that, song that verse is amazing. Oh, but man. nobody can give you the first verse of what anybody said on that song. All they can say is, it's why I fucked your bitch, you fat motherfucker. Fake money. Westside bad boy killers. That's how far it goes with motherfuckers. 
I mean, they and they know the next couple bars. Like they know the next few. Uh, they know. Yeah, they know the first off. A lot they, of they know a few. A lot of people don't even know Pac got two verses on that song. They just think it's Tupac first verse and the Outlaws. They don't even they don't even cut it off when Pac was like, "This ain't a freestyle battle. You niggas getting killed with your eyes open." They, don't, they didn't even get that far, right? Now this is this is supposedly Kendrick's hit him up. This is it right here. This is not like us. Anything after this. It's not gonna be as vital unless he 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 goes crazy again, but it's not gonna be that of like not like us. This is his peak of that, right? You think so? I I, I would. I see it. I see the promotion of the song. I see it. I'm seeing it. We're we're witnessing it. We're only in day one of the song being out. The song didn't even come out 24 hours ago. It's brand spanking new. And that shit got 14 mil. And the shit is being pushed up on billboards. It's, there's a machine behind the song. Let's not lie here. Let's not lie here. It's being pushed for a reason. Because it's supposed to be that. Why? Because Family Matters did a wrench to niggas. It, it, a lot of niggas watched that video. First of all, niggas didn't know Drake had a video coming out. He did a video for it. Yeah, he did that shit quick, too. A video. When's the last that time nigga we got ain't a, getting no sleep. When's the last time we got a diss record video? And he not even it's not even a performance. It's not even a performance. When's the last time? Not only that, he told Kendrick to come get Pharrell. The, the layers of that song, he couldn't say he couldn't say Hov's name. Yeah. You know how hard that line would have been if he said Jay Z come get his fucking legacy out my house. Come get his legacy out of my house is so wild, bro. <laughs> and while the nigga holding up mad chains. Uh, no, listen, listen. And I love Nego to death, but he threw a shot at Nego too while doing that. He had an Asian nigga doing it. Look how life works out. You Are you seeing the layers? He had an Asian wild. motherfucker wearing the chains as if Nego, it's like a Nego. Wait, I, it, Nigo and Pharrell going through uh, court shit right now. What if he had Nigo holding them shits up? That'd have been even. That'd have been. that have been wild, nigga. That's what I'm saying. But, like, it's, it's, but in the same sense, it is Nigo. It is be, Nigo. Yeah, that might be him. Well, you know, well, not him, but exactly, it is Nigo. He was wearing the chains the same way all over the neck. He had the shades on. He had the golden molar all in his hand. It was Nigo. That was neat. That was a joke on Nigo. But the line hit, and that's and that line hits because you got to think about it, right? He's not talking about pushing. Why even throw that line in there? Because you know Hove is still tied to. It all plays into the red button. Drake right now, he's he's fucking. He got his finger around the red button, like you know when you circle something, and you know you, you know you when you play with your shorty's nipples, and you you move your finger around her nipples. You ever did that before? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, that's top level. That's top level uh, foreplay right that's there. That's what he's doing. <laughs> that's what he's doing with the red button right now. He's just he he tickling the titty right now. He's the, the nipple outlining right that shit. He's outlining it right. He was stupid. Dude. I ain't gonna front. Between all of this shit, I'm still enjoying the content from like he he put that shit on his gram in his story uh -huh. with the the nigga looking at the red button, the little cartoon, the little shit. cartoon, right. <laughs> That shit had me weak, bro. Yeah, it's it's definitely it's definitely it's 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 close, but it's not close yet. And I I said this, I think I told y'all niggas this shit. I said he's not gonna drop the red button yet. It's not happening yet. I said that before Family Matters came out. I said no, he's not dropping the red button yet. He's gonna drop something close to the red button, but not really the red button. And he did. I see. How do we how do we get to him and and it being disclosed now, if this is all true that Jay is behind this? How do we? How does Drake the get to that point? The more disc records that come out, but because best believe the red button is not going to be on that mixtape. There's no red. So he's gonna just dust. Thing. He's gonna be dust. Do you see how Kendrick is dropping songs? Kendrick's gonna be get to a point where he has to. He's gonna out song Kendrick. Huh. He's gonna out song Kendrick Lamar. It sounds crazy right now. But he's gonna out. He's gonna out song him. He's gonna sing to Whitney. He's gonna. He's gonna do it all. He's yo, gonna do it that, all. That's what I was. Yo, bro. I, I don't know if I said that in the chat, but I, I, at the beginning, I was like, bro, he should just start singing. 
Like everybody, yeah, you facts. know what I'm saying? Like everybody be, you know, we always expecting him to do one like this specific thing. Yo, kill these niggas. Yo, 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 just start killing these niggas, bro. Just singing like views intro. Right. Or, or Virginia Beach. Yeah. Nigga, just come on this shit wildin'. <laughs> hey, man, rap music. Rap music, man. is is We gonna get more in tune to this. It's I, seen, I seen a Forbes article about this shit, nigga. Forbes. I seen Rolling Stone say, yeah, there's a rap beef going on, but there's a real war here at play here around the world. Shut the fuck up. I might even fuck about them niggas over there dying. <laughs> nigga, say Kendrick just dropped, yeah, nigga. Kendrick just dropped, nigga. Just hear about them niggas dying, nigga. They're killing Drake right now, nigga. That's one thing about, man, some hip-hop, some, some black people cu- culture. It just, and I, it's for the world. I get it. But it's still something that just rubbed me the wrong way when I see niggas that don't ever discuss this shit making content about it. Niggas reacting. That's how big Everybody th- got a two cents that don't make no sense. I seen, nigga, I seen what I was watching. I was I was at my shorty crib and she had some, some bitch on TikTok say uh, some shit that was just so off, like that was just so wrong. I'm like, yo, that ain't what that means, but. And niggas got a TikTok to make a little video about it. Yeah, well, yeah, I wish I remember. I wish I remember what it was. It was just so blatantly incorrect. But they tried to connect like some other shit from the past. I, I don't remember. That, that shit just. That's why I said, man, I ain't going on social media. About I had to unfollow a couple of pages. That's just blatant for one side. I'm like, yeah, I get you got your fans and shit, but like, that. come on, son. No, yeah. It's mm. gonna get to the point where Drake is gonna have niggas shutting the fuck up. And I can't wait. But I'm here for it. I'm that's the always the part I be waiting, like you know, like I always be waiting for like like it's all it's like in the movies, like it's like watching an episode of From. Like this is what this shit feel like. Like we watching the whole season of From. Uh, shout out to that oh, shit. Fact. I need to bring that. Hey, hey, I need to bring that shit though. back quick. Hurry up. I think that shit ain't coming out till next year or some shit. Nah, nah get it right. Yeah. What's my son's name? My son boy? Put Spielberg on the fucking on the, on the payroll, nigga. God damn. Hey, now Spielberg got music. Cheesy. Rap music. Rap music. All right, <laughs> niggas. That's 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 we gonna have more. And I'm pretty sure next week we're gonna have some shit for y'all for the, for the next episode. We're gonna be covering this shit like it's motherfucking I like guess the OJ trial, niggas. Yeah, <laughs> shout out to shout out to Shane Gillis. Shout out to Shane shout Gillis. Shout out my nigga Shane Gillis. Shout, shout out my boy Fizz for producing one of the hardest disc records ever. Him and boy Wonder cooked up some shit, man. Shout Jake. out, shout out to the guys. Shout out to the guys, man. Shout, shout out, out Fifty. Shout out Schultz. Shout out Schultz. Shout out K Dot for nigga for for keeping up and rapping, my nigga. I, you know, I'm not. The biggest on you know on Euphoria and you know but six one six and you you not us you not like us is amazing. It is amazing. I'm just, I'm just a gas. I man. think gas. Euphoria. Well, I like Euphoria better than six one six. Yeah, me too. I I ain't really care for six one six honestly. And not like us is that's clearly like the probably the best one. Yeah, that's, that's, that's the best jam. one. When I heard that shit out yesterday, I'm like, yo, this shit just dropped like an hour ago. <laughs> <laughs> niggas, niggas was in that bitch jamming, nigga. I had a little tequila, like, yeah. You're not, you're not like, I was like, yeah, I felt like this was 50. Like, yo, nigga, for real, for I was real. like, yo, rap music. For real, for real. Yo, shout out to rap sh- music. Hey, shout out to Drake for dropping one of the best disc records of all time. Best Kendrick disc- just opened his mouth. Somebody, Somebody get him right, right now. Yo. <laughs> Take him. Yo. Drop, drop, drop a 50 bag for the bomb that is stop. Oh. Nigga started harmonizing on the nigga. I was really, really trying to keep it. <laughs> yo. That nigga went crazy. And that, that second verse. Yo, that second, yo, man. I'm, that second verse is the best rap I've heard in 10 years. What I'm about to say, this is with love. <laughs> this is this is this is with love. This is respectfully. This is from the heart. Rocky, leave that boy alone, man. Yeah, you you told. Listen, he said Rihanna. He said that Rihanna's going to tell you to leave him alone for you get your shit bust again. I don't know what happened <laughs> with you getting your shit bust. Yeah, Probably, I don't know. What is I that don't even know about? What happened, Rocky. Like, what? Stop. Don't even mention him no more. Nigga like said, she, she, she gonna tell you stop before that boy busts you upside the head again. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> yo, I feel so bad for so. I like these niggas, man. I like Rick Ross. Of what? Of course. I like, I like that nigga said Ricky, Metro. That Roman. nigga said Ricky gonna read my Miranda rights. <laughs> nah, bro, he went crazy on. Yo, I Ross, love these bro. niggas, yo, man. What was the line about the four hundred million? He, yo, that nigga. How the fuck did he put? Four hundred million and cocaine in a line together and make it sound crazy. Nigga said weekend music being played in the spots where boys got a little bit more pride. <sighs> and nigga, the nigga got very surgical in that second yo, verse, bro. Yo, he man. was his, each line. He was just hitting nigga weekend whole lack cash. <laughs> you little pussy. Nigga said cash. You a big pussy boy. <laughs> Yo, that bro, nigga, it's whole lack. And, and then nigga, at the end, he said, "Yo, future, this one hurt me, bro." That nigga said. Yeah. That nigga said you gonna get a box, put a nigga in a Ferrari and give him a horse ride. That was crazy. I said, yo, this nigga is, yo, cooking. That nigga ain't even saying Metro name. He ain't not even saying Metro no more. He never he said, said Metro. He killed Metro's name already. It's over. Make some drums, nigga. Yo, the nigga called that nigga Leland. Yeah, he called yo. that nigga Leland Wayne. It's crazy. Yo, yo son, the nigga. Yo, and I. <laughs> wait, wait, stand on the Metro before you get to that part, because Metro did put out that a diss beat. I thought that was that's new. Yeah, right. They put out a and then Drake responded something. to the shit. Nigga, nigga said, yo, this nigga made a beat about my ass? Nigga said, yo, fam, you made a beat about my ass? <laughs> you made a diss record about my ass. <laughs> yo, oh man, son. Rap music. That nigga Drake that nigga Drake. Uh, I was watching RDC react to it. And Mark was I, I saw drugs. Nigga Mark was like, yo, this nigga drug is low key. He's like, this nigga drug, Drake is low key a comedian, son. Nah, that nigga is a nah, full time comedian, bro. He is. He, he's hilarious. Shout out to RDC for keeping up the great content, too. Yeah, nah, nigga, facts. Nigga pulling out the hammer, like, yo, that's <laughs> what we got to take it to. <laughs> that nigga uh. just was like, nah, nah, man. <laughs> yo, <laughs> niggas put forgetting that away. Bro did a whole special for SNL. Yeah, he's he's really he's really hilarious. Like bro. son did like the whole comedy bit for like what was that the SBs? Yeah, he's really mm-hmm. funny. Son, like he's really son funny. is that, like yeah, that easy. That Kendrick yeah. just opened his mouth. Somebody give him a Grammy right now. It's the funniest shit I've heard, bro, bro, bro. <laughs> that shit is crazy, son. That that is I'm crazy. telling you, with the beat, the melody, uh, man. Yeah, like, Kendrick just opened his mouth. Somebody give him a Grammy right now. <laughs> I think it said. Ah. I think it said this like, give this man a beer. Like it wasn't a. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go in the back. Get that nigga, nigga up, a cold man. one. Yeah, come on, man. Let's get that nigga a cold tell one. Tell this nigga man. sit down, and relax. Enjoy the show, my nigga. God damn. Oh, turned up. Uh, oh, man, this bitch turned Dick, up. Kendrick versus Drake. We are here. We are in the midst Yo, of this. We here. I'm really, I'm really excited that we're here. This the shit two, took years. The two goats of rap, and they are rapping. These niggas yeah, ain't they, they rapping. We yo, it's crazy. We was we I'm glad we didn't pod when these niggas was baiting each other. Yeah. I'm glad we wasn't like, hey, nothing happened yet. A lot happened. Yeah, in the span of two weeks. A span of a lot and happened. shit. I just, I'm just, I just keep checking my phone, nigga. Like, yeah, did another yeah, one drop Yeah, you gotta be yet? on top. You gotta be on top, cause, yo, shout out to Far Far just when he's like, yo, what the fuck, man? Every time I go to sleep, man, something new. <laughs> <laughs> like, nigga, I felt, nigga, I went to bed. When was this? Friday night. This is after we done came home, listened to the joints. Them shit. I, my, my brain was just thinking like rap music. Like, oh shit. Like, it, it's been, it's been a while since. Music like this could affect niggas' lives. Nah, facts. Facts. This shit is affecting the world, Craig. Like, yeah, like, for real, for yeah. real, but for real. But those who let it affect them to the point where they can't see both sides or the genius in both sides, the talent <laughs> level, the you know, all of those things. Like, nigga, you probably should. Like I said earlier, shut up. <laughs> you know niggas be biased man when niggas like people yeah but that they... destroys the moment honestly like i understand social media is social media but sometimes that bleeds out and you know some it, you got you do get, got some idiots in the world who allows that to you know bleed out into what they say or you know, what they believe in and now you got a nigga, you know, probably hitting you up, trying to tell you the same thing you just seen, and you try to scroll past. 
It's like, yo, bro, yeah. like, I just I just read this. Like, I don't feel like <laughs> addressing you about this, bro. Like, get the Shout fuck out to on. rap music. Yeah, man. Enjoy the music, man. We'll be here. NBA playoffs. New York Knicks. Knicks won. This has been this been a really good playoffs. I ain't gonna lie. Man, the Knicks is going to the second round. They are not winning the championship, guys. <laughs> oh boy. Like, Niggas gotta take their wins however they that's, come. That's bro. It's they, been a long year. That's how these rap stand bases be too. Like that's what I call them stand bases. Cause I don't I don't yeah. consider the real fans. I'm I'm kicking it with my step pops, right? So I guess he came across the South Talk NYC Knicks video where they wild and shit. And he was like, yo, I hate these new Knicks fans. He's like, these niggas in here acting like they won a championship, my nigga. He's like, these niggas won the first round. They ain't do nothing. <laughs> and he's a Nick doll. He's a Nick, you know? These yep. niggas just won the first round. What the fuck are these niggas going crazy for? That All that shit is just performative. Like, <clears throat> all all that, them, them type Nick fans and shit, those are social media Nick fans. Right. Like, niggas be hyped for the video. And probably don't even really be going to the games and shit. Oh, watching the games? What the hell? Niggas watch the highlights. So they wait to see yeah, what's posted. Oh, shit. Yeah, we won. You fuck niggas. Fuck me, man. Joel and B. Fuck, fuck, fuck you. Niggas fuck Trey Young. Fuck Trey Young. Yeah, like, nigga, what Trey Young did? Why well, he said fuck me for? Nigga, Trey Young looking at <laughs> Nigga, Trey Young woke up. Like, why he said fuck me for? <laughs> Oh man, son. And I like I like I like the Timberwolves, bro. They 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 beat uh, Denver last night. I love that everybody likes the Timberwolves now. I Yo, I, 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 I like them I niggas, man. Lie. I've been looking Honestly, at Honestly, I only like Ant. I don't like Cat. I've been I hate looking Kat. at I've been looking bro, at Ant. Yeah, yeah, bro. I've been looking at Ant, bro. That nigga is half man, half amazing. That nigga's Jordan. Bro, so. he, then, bro, he's a beast. But you, yeah, y'all bro. understand you know he so can't crazy? do it without the. the you know what's so crazy? Niggas, I thought the nigga. I nah, thought the. Facts. I thought the. I, I liked him in 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 um what's the Adam Sandler movie? Oh yeah yeah um the shit with Wancho. Yeah, yeah, he was the he was the Forgot. he was the antagonist of the film, right? Yeah yeah. yeah, yeah. I like this nigga. This nigga, I hope it. Does he really play basketball? I thought it was an actor. Like, this nigga's an actor. This nigga's a great actor. Hey, he's a real basketball player. I found that. That nigga's the face of the league, man. That nigga's good. He's, oh, he's good. He's yeah. the people's champ. I should. I, I want. Yeah, I'ma say. Like I, that yeah, nigga fast. don't like, miss. I don't think they're gonna make him the face of the league, and that's only because of like, you know, his nigga. terms where he started. Like, nah, that's not true. What all niggas is faces nah, of the league? Nah, he like a nigga, nigga. Nah, he's in Minnesota, bro. What the hell? That's not that nigga is a sag his pants nigga. He like he like AI. They would they couldn't make AI. To, well, they wanted to. He he's like you say he's the people's, people's champ. champ. There you go. He's our face of the league. There you go. Uh, he's good. He's fucking good. He don't miss. What's new dog said? He don't miss. Yeah, you know that video is about Drake. <laughs> what? I think I, I think I seen that full, yeah. That I that, I, I that so. Snoop Dogg meme of he's good. He, that nigga don't miss in the heat of battle. He don't miss. That's about Drake. Shout Will out to Reggie Bush. He getting his Heisman back. Where he post that? That I think that was during like I forget where that was. I think it was a was it GGN? Was he on GGN for that clip? Was that Snoop? Was that it Snoop, on Snoop his clip? IG story or something? Nah, this this is just a, a meme, a video that just goes around all the time. It ain't it ain't new. Oh, it's some shit. All right, niggas. I think uh, until next time, crack rock. Yeah, crack rock. rock we'll holla at y'all, niggas, next week. Hopefully, we got some good news for y'all. Hopefully, we gonna cover. Like I said, we are gonna cover this shit like the OJ trial. So we'll be on point. Oh, facts, and I'm here. I'm here for the rap music. All right, you sick y'all fuck. Get the fuck out of here get before out we of call here, you pedophiles. <laughs> That's my Damn. new shit. I'm gonna call you up. You want me to call you a pedophile, nigga? Stop playing with me. <laughs> Just a new crash out. Stand clear of the closing door.